Well, hello, good morning, and I wanted to talk about the two witnesses of the Bible. Uh, basically, what we're doing here is learning that things are not always as they seem. A lot of people think the two witnesses are Elijah and Moses, or Enoch and Elijah, or Enoch and Moses, or the Old Testament, the New Testament. But God uses symbolism. So basically, if God uses symbolism to tell us what things are, like um, when he talks about, you know, Jerusalem or Israel, he's speaking to his people that are God. And our, our God loves us all. If you're born again, you are of God. And you can't not be of God. So therefore, you are Israel. So when you're reading the Bible and you hear, oh, Israel or oh, Jacob, know that he's speaking to you specifically. But about the two witnesses, okay? So I want to read this real quick. I, I was given a read like a measuring rod and was told, go and measure the temple of God and the altar and count the worshipers there. But exclude the outer courts. Do not measure it because, it because it has been given to the Gentiles. They will trample on the holy city for 42 months and will give power to my two witnesses. They will prophesy for 1,260 days clothed in sackcloth. They are the two olive trees and the two lampstands. Okay, so now I want you to listen really carefully here. This is where you're going to learn what he means. Those it's not it is spiritually. It may be the spirit of Elijah. It may be the spirit of Moses or whoever you might think it is, but it is not. I'm going to show you it is the church, the end time church. Apparently, there's going to be a church in Israel, okay? So he tells us right here who they are. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands. So let's go back over here. So right here, now this is Revelation 2, all right? Right here, he says in, in verse 19, Write therefore what you have seen, now this is God's words, what you have seen, what is now, what will take place later, the mystery of the seven stars that you saw in my right hand and the seven golden lampstands is this. Okay, he says that's what this is. He's about to tell us. The seven stars are the seven angels of the seven churches and the seven lampstands are the seven churches. So he tells us right here who those two witnesses are. You know, guys, we have got to take his word literal. Now, if we go back over in Luke, we'll find other, you can just Google two witnesses, um, witnesses in scripture. Just Google witnesses, King James Version, and it will bring up scripture. This is how I started learning is I just started taking the scripture and then going back and reading the Bible. But, um, hey guys, the olive trees. Okay. So back to over here, the olive trees. All right. The, so now we just read that the lamp stands. Okay. So these are the two olive trees. Now the olive trees are the two tri the Gentiles and the um and the Jew the Jew Jews. So there's two olive trees. And what those olive trees do is it pours the oil into the lampstands. So the Gentiles, which is the non Jews, 
have their own lamp stand. And then the, the, the Jews have a lamp stand. So that olive tree pours that oil and anointing oil. So if you go back to Matthew, um, in the Acts and, and all of those, the Acts, that's where he starts talking about being our witness. And he talks about the same, these same verses. And I'll go back into that later, but maybe next time. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys that in scripture that there is going, if you will go and read Revelation and read the churches, they're going to be a lot of churches that just aren't doing what God wants them to do. You know, I'm not perfect. Nobody is. But listen, in the, these are the times that we need to rise up and start telling people about God. Guys, answer the poll on here if you don't mind. Are you born again? If you're not, I just want to pray for you. You know, um, Jesus tells us to pray like this really quick, and I'll sum this up. He said, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the glory, and the power forever and ever. Amen. God bless you guys. God loves you so much. If you were the only person on earth, he still would have died on that Christ cross for you. I love you. Take care and God bless.